G'day viewers, it's Michael here again and welcome back to Single Racer. And as we watch the sun rise on this beautiful little country town, those of you that saw my last video will remember I talked about uh, my top three favourite cars being 50-50 um, handling or 50-50 weight distribution. Very well balanced and they're the top um, cars that I prefer. They probably make up my top five or my top ten favourite cars. And so as soon as one of my favourite channels, the Humble George channel, heard this, he said you have to try this car, it's absolutely sensational. But for those people that don't know, Humble George is uh, well known for converting cars into these 300, 400, no sometimes even 500 kilometre beasts. That's what he does best. So I wasn't sure that I might be able to handle this car. But then he messaged me saying, no, he's not talking about his own personal tweak car, but the default car that comes from Facebook. I believe his name is Beto FR. And he said that that original car is right up my alley. It's the type of car that I would love to drive. Now, just a quick disclaimer here, because I've commented under people's videos that I'm not on Facebook, but I've got a fairly large family and nearly all of them are on Facebook. So as long as I, uh, the creator, I believe his name is Beto FR, or that's how I would pronounce it, but as long as he doesn't mind me sourcing the car, um, I really, really would w uh, want to show this off. And if he's unhappy for any reason, then I'm happy to take the video down, but it's just such a a brilliant car. In fact, his original car that you get from Facebook, and I'll have the official link in the description, is probably what I consider the best mod car for a Sato Corsa that I have ever driven. Its overall handling, its interior, in fact, just the general quality of this car is quite astonishing. And the only cars that I actually think are better are proper um, professional company cars. So I'm talking about RSS or Race Sim Studio or VRC, you know, those big companies that uh, probably have a lot more staff and can dedicate more time to the cars. But other than that, I think this is one of the best cars I've ever driven. And so just to wrap up this introduction, when you download the car, it's actually a pack. So it's the five cars in the one pack, just variations of the same car. And so what I'll be doing is I'll be showing two separate videos, one with the, the lowest mild version of the car, <laughs> if you can call a Corvette uh, mild, and then I'll take the fully worked one, that's the one with the big wing, out to Bathurst, uh, racing against one of Beto's other fantastic cars, uh, just in a hot lap to show you the complete uh, opposite ends of his pack. But I swear this is a sensational car if you haven't got it already. So this is Michael signing out for Single Racer. I'll catch you next time. See you later. And let's go for a casual cruise and hot lapping. Okay, folks, so here we are in the more plush, lower end version of this beautiful Corvette. And this is a modern Corvette uh, ZR1 and it's just beautifully done. The detail in this in, is incredible. Even to the point where the odometer here has my actual miles that I've done in Assetto Corsa. As we have a look at the lights there, just beautiful. And even the reflective um, speedo on the windscreen, just phenomenal the work this guy has done, Beto um, FR. So let's go for a casual cruise of this amazing country town track.
Okay folks, so now we have a race on Bathurst against Beto FR's, one of his other cars. Uh, this is the Mercedes AMG Black Series and what a sensational car that is as well. Um, I'll feature that in a separate video at the end of this one. But now, this is just my theory, I don't really know for sure, but to me the Mercedes should be a much faster car. So I've put its strength down to 90. Uh, but it's aggression still up at 100, so it's definitely going to fight me for position. But here's a tip that I learnt, a great tip um, from the channel Magic, or the channel called Magic, and that was that his way of learning was to deliberately put down the strength of the AI to where you felt you could keep up and reasonably easily pass it. And then you would just, so in this case it's set at 90%, and, and I do catch it quite easily across the mountain, one because it doesn't like certain corners, but also because I know the track so well. So here, here it is kind of balking me, but because the aggression set to 100, it, will, it won't let me pass, it's blocking me all the time, uh, which makes for a great race. But a way to improve is to slowly up the AI strength level as you feel you can catch it. So when you do pass it fairly easily, just put it up to 91, 92, 93 and so on to where it becomes a real challenge and that way you feel like you might be always improving because you have to to keep up with the AI. And you can also learn from the way the AI takes certain corners. Here we go flying down the straight and this thing just has so much power it's just absolutely awesome as I hit um, almost 300 kilometers which is what the V8 supercars do um, on Bathurst as well as I try and get past have I got room no I don't think so because he's set to 100% aggression he probably might uh, cut me off so I'll wait for another time as we go under the uh, the big sign there, absolutely fantastic track Bathurst is, it's quite a challenge, I, it's my favourite track next to the Nordschleife. And now I'm going to focus on getting a better run up the hill because that's where my personal strength is, I, I know this track inside and out, but the AI generally, not this car specifically, but generally is pretty weak up the hill the way it handles certain corners, so it's probably the AI line that is not as good. Um, on this particular track. So see it sits in the middle of the track, it won't let me pass and that could be the aggression setting, I'm not sure. But I'm going to have to find my way past it. Now a little tip here is because what happens is the car will balk me at certain points because oh it's hit the wall there so that's a big help, it might have sustained damage.
what it's going to do is block them in certain sections. So a tip is, when you know you're going to catch at a certain spot, hang back just slightly, and I'll try and do this here and overtake it. So, well, there's, there's, there's an example of where it blocks. So hang back now, or hang back, and then let my run go better. So hang back here, and now try and get the speed through here, and now I think I can get it. Can I get past it? I've just got to take this corner. Hope I don't lose it here. Yes. Yes, I've held it. I've held it. Oh, and I think he's had a little bit of a miss there. So, so I might have had a break. Yep. He's definitely uh, eased off there. So I should be fine as long as I take this corner right. And Oh, the power sliding on this car is just awesome. That's an awesome car to drive. These probably these are two of my favourite cars, um, especially because they both happen to be from uh, Beto FR. So brilliant cars, and uh, just the look. So I'll get out at the end. This is a two-lap race, so we're coming up to the end of the race. But I just focus a little bit here, so I don't muck this last corner up, which I've done many, many, many times while racing on this track go under the sign again beautiful sign that is and I have to say that the the finish on these cars now I've specifically chosen these two liveries um, because they're the best in my eyes but as we cruise down now into the uh, into the pits let me just hop out and show you the finish of these two beautiful skins or liveries just the finish on them these are both exclusive from Beto, uh, or you know, someone uh, that he knows have done these skins. Just absolutely incredible skins or liveries on these cars. So this is Michael signing out now for Single Racer. I'll catch you next time. I hope you liked that video. See you later.